Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Christmas glam makeup tutorial. At least that's my plan. We'll have to see how it turns out. But it is Vlogmas day 13 now and I haven't been doing and I haven't been doing a vlog every single day just because my life isn't like interesting enough to do that because I go to school five days a week. So go vlogs would get boring after a while and it just get really repetitive. So I decided I want to like change things up and do things besides vlogs as well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I need to do my eyebrows. So I think I'm going to do those off camera and I'll be back. Okay, I know they don't look good. I literally did them in probably like two seconds. Not really, but like kind of. So they do not look great and they look really thick right now, but I promise they won't be as noticeable and crazy when I get the eyeshadow and all the face makeup done. But I used the NYX Micro Brow and the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then to prime my eyelids, I used the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 14. It's too light for me for a concealer, so I just use it as eyeshadow primer. Now we have the base for our eyeshadow. So I'm gonna start with eyeshadow eyeshadow and I'm using the Morphe James Charles palette. This palette is literally so good. So I'm going to be using it and so my goal is to like a kind of a bronzy eye look but I want to incorporate some red into it. So I'm not going to be doing any green because this is like a holiday glam so it's not like a festive look but it's like a I don't know. I want this to be like wearable but like not wearable. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't wear this but if you want to be really extra you could wear this. If that makes any sense at all. I'm going to start with the shade up here. It is called Canvas. And I'm just going to be using this as like a transition shade. Like a light wash of color on my eyes before we actually get into the rest of the colors. This on my skin tone you can barely see at all. This is basically my skin tone but I like doing this before we get any other colors laid down. Okay, next I'm going to go into an actual transition shade. So I'm going to be mixing these two big shades. I'm going to use Code James and Tune. Just mix those together and use that in my crease. Like kind of this region. I don't know. It's been so long since I've actually like sat down and filmed a makeup tutorial. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long. I did a winter makeup tutorial like... A couple of videos ago but like that one i didn't actually explain what i was doing it was just like a video with music in it anyway this looks so much different on camera but i promise in person it looks a lot better okay so in person this basically just looks like orange but we're gonna fix it so now i'm gonna take this brush this one has green on it hopefully it doesn't show up but i'm going to be taking this shade next to co james and this one is called 10 percent off just gonna be using a little bit of that and putting that more in my crease area. Just like deepening it up. Okay, I'm going to take another brush. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. brush and take the red shade in this palette. It is called You're Kidding. I'm just gonna be kind of like putting it out here keep in mind i've never done this look before and i kind of just like thought of it so i'm gonna try to make it work but i don't know how exactly it's gonna turn out so we'll just have to see then i'm gonna go back in with a little bit of that these two shades and just blend it out again then i'm going to go in with an even smaller brush this shade it's not like a brown brown but it's like kind of has a little bit of burgundy in it but it is called boutique and i'm just gonna add that to my outer corner and kind of blend a little bit into the crease But now I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease because it just makes it look better and more clean. So I'm going to go back into the concealer and cut my crease and I'll be back. Creases are cut and I'm going to go in with this kind of a lighter gold shade and it's called So Good. And just pack that on where I cut my crease. So I think this part is complete. I don't know, I really like it in person but on camera it just looks a lot more messy and like more... I don't know. I'm going to add eyeliner now. So I have the Fenty Beauty one, but I heard that one is like really waterproof and doesn't want to come off. I'm going to go ahead and use my trusty, which is LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner. This one is a dollar from the Dollar Tree, and I use it a lot. Like every look I do, I basically use this if I want to use black eyeliner. All right, I just created super... Did I just break this? Okay. Totally just like broke this, but um, I just created really, really, really small wings because I didn't want it to overpower the look because I'm also going to add lashes. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with these lashes. 
they look like this and i can't remember where they're from okay so they're from this brand called cosmania and they're just called the glam wispies and i got them at marshall's i think or tj maxx i can't really remember i love these lashes so much and again i'm just gonna go ahead and do it off camera just to save some time and i'll be back all right that's what the lashes look like with the look i love how the lashes made it look so now i'm gonna move on to face i'm starting with my favorite primer combination i know it's expensive and i hate showing it on camera but it is my favorite primer combination at the moment so I first used the Smashbox photo finish primer and I really like this one a lot and I'm getting close to running out of it actually and after I put that all on my face I use this primer and you can definitely just stay with the Smashbox primer or whatever primer is your favorite but I've been using this Guerlain one as well I was actually sent this from Octoly so I didn't pay for it with my own money and I wouldn't recommend that because it's like in the $70 price range so that's really expensive but I love this primer so much it smells so nice and it works so good like it it is literally so amazing and it has gold flakes in it so that's cool too but like the primer itself is just really good by all means you do not have to go out and buy it I'm just using it because that's what I've been using every day because if I have it might as well use it you know so then I'm going to do foundation Actually, I don't really want to do foundation, so I'm not going to do foundation. I'm just going to use the e.l.f. concealer. Mine is in the shade Fair, and I'm just going to kind of use this everywhere. I had to take the stopper out of this because I've used so much of it, but yeah, I'm just going to kind of apply it everywhere. I blend it out with my Ofra sponge, which I did not wet beforehand, and I should have. I really, really like this concealer because I like how it doesn't make me look super duper white like a lot of my concealers do. And I know that's my problem because I was like getting the wrong shades. Like most of my concealers just make me look so white and like white under my eyes but not anywhere else. And it's just like a weird look. But this one, I like how it just matches my whole skin tone because I don't like a highlighted look under my eyes. I just have never liked that look. I don't know. I just don't like it. So I like this concealer a lot and it gave me decent coverage but it's not like full, full coverage because I don't like full coverage honestly now i'm going to set my face with this powder this i just got in my boxy charm but is by pretty vulgar and it's called their powder room mad about it translucent setting powder and i'm gonna use another one of my over sponges okay and i used kind of a lot on purpose because i want my face kind of baked because my skin gets oily so i'm kind of baking my entire face a little bit yeah also i put my hair up because it was kind of getting in my way but i'm just gonna take a brush and kind of wipe the excess off and then i'm going to use bronzer so this has been my favorite bronzer combo i'm using the benefit hula light along with the regular hula i just have the big size of this and then this mini size of this because i got this one in the set i first used the light and i used the ColourPop f14 brush i kind of just put that everywhere honestly i mean not exactly everywhere i'm still focusing it in certain areas but like i use this one more everywhere compared to the other bronzer that i'm about to use my eyebrow just like completely went in a completely different direction i take the hula and i bronze up my face again but i don't use as much and i kind of focus it in more focused areas i don't know what that means but i focus it in like more of the hollows of my cheekbones and then it's like closer to my hairline if that makes any sense at all and then i'm going to use blush so i'm just using this blush it's a Too Faced Law Flush blush in Baby Love and I used to use this blush a lot like I used to use this all the time and looks like that I got it from a Christmas set actually kind of a while ago but it still works really good and I love this blush so much I think it's just my big light that I have that's making me look like this but it's like it's not it's just picking up more of the white from my light than what it actually looks like I don't know Anyway, now I'm going to use highlighter. I'm going to go in with the James Charles palette again and use the highlighter shade from the palette, which, by the way, is beautiful. And it's this one. It's called Face. I'm going to use that on my highlighter brush. And I've been using the AOA Studio F19 brush. I'm taking a smaller brush and highlighting my inner corners. Oh, that's so pretty. 
and I'm also hiding, highlighting my brow bone. Then I'm just going to go in with basically all the shades that I took earlier and I'm going under my lash line. I'm also just adding some mascara on my lower lashes. This is the Lancome mascara. And then I need to do lips, which no idea what I'm going to do for lips. I think for lips, I'm going to be a little extra because I want to try these things out. So I'm using this that I got in my BoxyCharm. It's by the brand Bodyography, I guess that's how you pronounce it, and it's in the shade Timber. So if you know me, I never use lip liner, but I'm going to go ahead and do that just for the sake of the video. And I'm going to use this Tarte lip paint, and this, I believe, is just a lip gloss, and it's in the shade Strike Gold. So it's really pretty, so I'm going to try to use it as a combo. Hopefully it'll work out, but I don't know. Okay, we got lip liner on. I try to do something. I don't know. <sighs> this is so pretty. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, this lip goes with this eye look like zero percent like it literally does not match at all but i'm kind of just gonna go with it but this is the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching i know this isn't like a super wearable look that i uh was going to make it but i haven't really played with makeup in a while and i wanted to create something that's like not simple every day which is what i've been doing recently so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye